everybody hello i'm so sorry this is so ridiculously late so i should have done this at eight o'clock this morning it's now i think about three o'clock in the afternoon uh, but at least we're here and we're going to be learning the signs and i think they'll be really really useful ones for this week so thank you so much to the lovely baby signer who suggested that we did back to school and nursery signs today because I know lots and lots of you will have little ones going back to school and nursery so introducing some signs will be a really good way of starting to talk to them about it uh, and getting them to recognize where they'll be going off to every day I know it can be a really um, difficult time uh, particularly after such a long period at home but ho hopefully they're all feeling really excited and you're feeling excited for them too so let me show you those signs uh, the sign for school take one hand and um, just in front of your mouth you go back and forth so I'm going down up down up rather than back and forth sorry down up down up so it's school school and then for nursery it's a bit of a weird one this one you take uh, two fingers on each hand and make a V with each hand and then you go to your neck out round and down nursery nursery it's a weird one isn't it can anyone guess why that might be nursery nursery I'm actually wearing the perfect visual clue for it isn't that bizarre I feel like I'm dressed um channeling Kirsty Alley from look who's talking very like 80s maternity look um nursery and it's for this reason so if you think of um sort of old school nursery nurses like Mary Poppins or something they very often uh, would wear a ribbon like this a bow so you're making these bits of the bow with your fingers nursery so if you think you're making those loops nursery so we've got school and nursery and teacher so teacher is uh, closed fingers to your thumb and you tap forward teacher teacher and if you wanted to do head teacher you point to your head teacher or head teacher and then I thought in case any of you are feeling a bit funny about it, I uh, don't want to get anyone too emotional, but if you wanted to ask them to be brave or to be strong, then these are the signs. Brave. So that is um, a claw hand from your chin going outwards. Brave. Be brave. Be brave. Be strong. So that's two closed fists. Strong. Be brave. Be strong and have fun. You might recognise this sign if you've done signing with me before. It's the same as happy. So that's sort of clapping the palms of your hands together, but you swipe them. Happy or fun. So you might want to say, be brave, be strong and have fun. And very importantly, I love you. So we learned I and you and me and they and all of those last week. But just to remind you, you say, uh, so that's you. So it would be I, pointing to yourself, love, hands crossed in front of your chest, you. I love you, which I think is a really nice one to be able uh, to tell them. I do know that it's, a, like I remember what it was like with Etta, dropping her off at nursery for the first time. Um, I think she started when she was about nine months old and it was, it was really tough. It's really easy for some people and they settle in quickly, but it definitely took a while with Etta. And then she ended up absolutely loving, loving, loving nursery. Uh, but I do know it's difficult at this time, but I hope you're all feeling excited as well. I'll put up some more uh, relevant signs this week, but if there's anything that you think would help you, then um, pop it in the comments and I'll make sure I get a sign up of it this week. Uh, I hope it goes well and I'll speak to you guys soon. Bye everyone. Bye.